What's up, y'all? It's your boy, j -Lon, the one and only, because there can never be another. What is you talking about? Back again with another video. Long overdue. I know. Not too much. Not too much. You know, I'm trying to get back into the groove hosting and stuff like that because, you know, I done fell off a little bit. But, you know, we back. We back like a Cairo Pratt. What is you talking about? So, as you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be getting into my pet peeves. Things that I cannot stand. You know what I'm saying? You see how I'm sitting right now? It's because I cannot stand these things. Because I feel like, as a person, why are you doing these things? You know what I mean? I feel like we should have some common decency and not do any of these things on my list. Because if you're doing those things on my list... We're going to have an issue. So, no more rambling. No more chatting. I'm chatting right now, but who cares? Because I can do what I want. Period. I'm a semicolon. Colon. Right here on the paper, we got my list. You know what I'm saying? Of the things that I cannot stand. And right off the bat, number one, we got liars. And I know what you guys are thinking. Jaylon, you're a Leo. Leos be lying. Not this Leo right here. Not this Leo right here. I'm too blunt. I'm too cutthroat. You know what I'm saying? I don't sugarcoat. I don't beat around the bush. If I'm going to tell you something, it's going to be the truth. You know what I'm saying? I don't tell white lies neither. You know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't even tell no white lies. Truthfully, I would tell a black lie. But we're not going to get into colors and everything of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just don't like liars because me personally, I don't care that much. You don't got to lie to me. I'd rather you just tell me the truth. But if you don't tell me the truth and you lie to me, now we're going to be looking at you sideways like you're freaking crazy. So, you know, like, let's not lie to me because, like I said, I don't care that much. Never will. Never have. Thank you. <laughs> On to number two. I hate smackers. And I know sometimes we do it without, you know, meaning to or whatever while we and gum or whatever but it's the people that can't catch themselves and be like oh i'm smacking it's people that just continuously continuously smack on gum while they eating smacking on their lips smacking on their teeth just smacking 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 now how about i smack you back can't smack you ain't gonna like that kind of smack so how about we just start smacking all together or i'm gonna remove your lips and you're gonna have no lips to smack with yeah yeah but if I do that, I'm going to be the crazy one. But you can smack all in my ear. All in my ear. And not have no repercussions. No. Consequences. It's coming. Because you want to keep smacking. I don't get down like that. Stop the smacking today. Freak you talking about. Number three. I hate loud people. Especially in the morning. Because like I know sometimes I can be loud. But like... I feel like at certain times for when people should be loud. I feel like personally, in the morning times when people first wake up, don't be loud. Do not be loud. From the hours of, see me, I wake up at 6. So from 6 to like 9 to be quiet or 6 to 7 to be quiet. But then like 9 o'clock, people start getting loud. I'm like, it's a little early now for like, you know, loudness to start at 11.30. 11.30. That's even pushing out for about 12. Honestly, if I had a choice, I feel like everybody should just be quiet. Everybody should just be silent and not say a word. That's that's honestly how I feel. But, you know, not everybody may, you know, agree with that. And that's that's totally fine. That is 100% okay. Me personally, though, I ain't getting jiggy with the talking loud. So, you know, zip it or get a ticket. What is you talking about? <laughs> For real. Anyway. Um, next one, I hate when I be out in public and people be staring at me. Like, okay, yes, I get it. I'm fine. I'm sexy. And you, you look, you like what you see. Like, I'm a sight to see. But if you're not going to say nothing to me, be like, oh, you look good. Don't stare at me. Because why is you staring at me? What you staring at me for? I'm going to need that to stop. Because, you know, like, it's get, it get real tiring. It get real annoying. I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to stare, make sure you got some sunglasses on, the dark ones where I cannot see. But you're going to have to 
move your eyes only. You can't move your head because if I see your head in my direction, I'm gonna look at you. We're gonna be staring at each other. We're gonna be staring at each other like a reflection in the mirror. For real. Don't stare at me. Next on the list is I hate people who like who offer to do something and like now you expecting that person to do it, but then they never come through because it's like you could have just not said anything at all. Like I did not ask you to, you know, do anything for me. So why in the world would you even bring up the fact that you was trying to do something for me if you knew you wasn't going to do it for me? Because now I feel like you're playing in my face. Now I feel like you think I'm stupid. Now I feel like I got a big red nose and a big old afro on my freaking head looking like Boo Boo the freaking fool. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this ain't that. And never gave that. You know what I'm saying? And never gave, like, me asking you to do anything. So you should never just say anything because now I'm looking at you like, I don't want anything to do from you. I just feel like I can't trust you. I can't trust you. You could have just sat there and kept your mouth shut. But no. You want to be extra and be like, oh, I'll do it for you. And then I'm sitting around waiting for you to do it. And you don't, you don't, blah, 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 blah. You don't never do it. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Next, I hate being asked stupid questions. Like, when I mean stupid questions, I mean like obvious questions. You know what I'm saying? Like questions that you already know the answer to, but instead you want to come ask me and now I got an attitude because like I'm like, you can't see what I'm doing right now. All you got to do is look and you get your answer. But no, you want to take time out of your mouth. I mean, take oxygen out of your lungs just to ask me what I'm doing when the answer is right there in front of your face. Now that can come off a little rude. I know it's simple as one, two, three, I can just answer the question. But still, it's just like, can we please act alike? You know, like we can, you know, use our common sense, you know, use our, use our, our sensory, I don't even know if that's the word. Just use your eyes, okay? Just use your eyes, okay? It's not that hard. I promise you it's not that hard at all, <laughs> for real. Um, next is, I hate people who talk while they got a mouth full of food, and then you can just see all they chew the food in their mouth. It just makes me want to throw up. Like, I feel like we need to have some decorum and, you know, just eat, you know what I'm saying? And then swallow, get some of your drink, drink some of your drink, and then say what you got to say. Like, it's no rush to say what you got to say because the conversation is not going nowhere. We will politely, or politely, we will politely wait for you to, you know, get done chewing, swallow everything. Now your esophagus, all the way down your esophagus, we will wait until you get done. But until then, chew your food. Do not try to chew your food and talk at the same time and then you open your mouth and that food just sitting there, like that junk is so nasty. Like, oh my God, that is literally the nastiest, disgusting thing I've ever freaking like encounter in my freaking life. I just feel like it's very nasty. It's very un freaking manly like, unladylike. It's unhuman like. It's just nasty. So don't freaking do it. Have some decorum, have some manners, and act like you got some freaking sense. Oh gosh, I should not have to put that on my list, but I got to because I seen it one too many times. Next on the list. I hate people who get drunk and get aggressive or people who just can't control their liquor, like, you know, like overall, like, or whatever in general, because like, if you, if I'm getting drunk with you and you don't know how to turn up and have a good time or just have fun and vibe out to the music, I don't want to get drunk with you. I don't even want to drink with you. I won't even take a shot with you because why is we, why is we out and you talking about some, like you finna fight somebody or your attitude just go left and you want to sucker punch somebody. I'm just like, please. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, if, if you, if, blah, 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 if you can't handle your liquor, I feel like you don't even need to do liquor. You need to keep it at the wine coolers. And even then, we need to put some water in it to dilute it a little bit because that can get you a little tipsy too. And if you act crazy while you're drunk, you probably act crazy while you're tipsy too because you can't handle your liquor. So I just feel like it's all in all a bad idea. So I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? Get it together. Get it together. You know what I'm saying? If you get aggressive while you're drunk, don't drink at all. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And so you learn how to control your attitude. You don't need any liquor. <laughs> exactly. Right. Next. Um, 
people who cannot function without smoking, like people who got to smoke before they do everything, smoke before they eat, smoke before they go out, smoke before they sleep, smoke before they take a nap, smoke before they um, wake up, like <laughs> smoke before they shower, smoke before they wash their teeth. I mean, wash they wash they behind, brush their teeth. Like I'm just, I just don't understand that you can't function without it. That's kind of a pet peeve too, because like if you my friend, and you can't smoke. I mean, if you can't function without smoking, you got to smoke before you do everything. Like, I'm sitting here like, come on now. Because me, I'm the type of person, I don't really like smoking, getting high, and going out. Like, But if I smoke, I'm going to smoke to get high. So when I get high, I just like to chill in the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like to smoke, get super high, and go out because I be getting paranoid. And I be feeling like everybody know I'm high and everybody looking at me and jumping like that. And as it already is because people be staring at me even when I'm not high. So, like, it's increased when i'm high like it just be so annoying so i just rather smoke and stay in the house and chill and watch tv as opposed to trying to go out you know what i'm saying that's just me but if you can't function without that joint maybe you need to take a tea break you need to take a tea break you know what i'm saying and snap yourself back on and there's not no judging or whatever i'm just saying like i shouldn't have to sit here and wait i mean if you're gonna smoke before we go somewhere you need to you know you need to be up before me or smoking before i get there so that when I get there, you can get in the car and we can go. Because, no. No home skillet biscuit. I don't do all of that. I don't need to do all of that. You know what I'm saying? I'll be high off life. I'll be high off life. So ain't no need to smoke a blunt before I go anywhere I go. Two. Next is people who drive slow. Like, or people who can't drive at all. Like, oh my God, that jump be so freaking annoying. Because the fact that, like, we on the highway and you're going 35 miles per hour. Blinks. And you like in the in the third lane, blinks, baby. You should be all the way to the to the right, all the way to the right in the first lane, going slow. You should not be in the third lane going 35 miles per hour. People got places to be, honey. I should do a citizen arrest every time I see somebody driving slow in the middle of the freaking slow. I mean in the middle of the freaking fast lane. Because I feel like you're being inconsiderate to people's time and where they got to be. Don't do that. Don't do that and don't let me catch you doing it. Because if I catch you doing it, I'm coming after you coming after you yeah next i don't like stink people or people who have bad hygiene because like i've never really been okay well i'm gonna be transparent there was this time where i did not like to really shower but i feel like all boys go through that phase but i don't be one to shower <laughs> but now but now i shower every night you know what i'm saying sometimes in the morning if i need to freshen up or whatever but people who just think like just have a bad order to them because it's coming from the outside of their body y'all need to eat better or y'all need to do something and spraying cologne and perfume over that joint do not make it no better it just mixes and it makes it a nasty fruity stanky smelly smell it don't make it no freaking better so therefore let's work a little harder on keeping ourselves clean you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all get behind those ears. Get in them ears between y'all booties. This for the men. Get between y'all booties. You know what I'm saying? And not and, and letting run, water run between it is not enough. Get some soap and, you know, get up in there real good because y'all be having dingleberries and junk and hanging from y'all booty. Like, that junk so nasty. And I know y'all be smelling it. Like, when y'all take y'all underwear off, like, this uh, whoosh, a whoosh of shit. Just, ooh, a whoosh of poop just hit y'all. I know y'all be smelling it, so let's act like we don't, okay? I mean, let's not act like we don't, okay? Thank you. Oh, did I say liars already? I think I did. That was the first thing, but it's on here twice, so that's how you know I am. Liars, 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 liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Anyway, and next, last but not least, I hate people who feel obligated, like, like people who just feel, feel like, entitled like uh what do you mean what do you mean that because you're my friend i'm supposed to give you a, a ride or what do you mean i'm supposed to give you a discount because you're my friend what do you mean i'm supposed to shout you out because you're my friend no like that's people like like if i had a small business and i was selling stuff and like I asked a small business owner, I mean the business owner for a discount because I'm their friend instead of buying the stuff at full price. That's weird. Like you're not entitled to a discount, honey, sweet pea. You need to pay the full price because how do you expect that person to make profit off of something if they're giving discounts to every single person? No, y'all don't know how a business works. <laughs> you catch a sale when you catch a sale. I don't have a friend's discount. 
Where y'all got that from? Girl, I don't know where I got that from, but it, it just don't hit. That's weird. That's really, 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 really weird. Oh, I hate fake people too. Oh, I hate fake people. Oh my God, I hate people that like sit up in people's face and know when they don't really like them or be talking about them behind their back. Oh, child, please. Because you do not have to be around that person. You don't even got to be around me if you don't like me because I ain't never forced a friendship, honey. You don't like me? Deuces. Girl, I'll get up out of there with the quickness. You ain't got to worry about me. You do not got to worry about me, sweetheart. <laughs> For real. Oh, I can't stand jealous people. Oh, it's just all coming to me now. I can't stand jealous people. Jealous people, envious people, like y'all be so jealous or envious because you see that other person doing good, but you don't know what they be going through behind closed doors or what it takes for them to get to where they're at now. You know what I'm saying? So for people that are jealous and envious, that's not going to do anything but bring you bad karma. Like all you got to do is put in the work that this person put in and maybe you will be where they are at. But instead, you're exerting so much energy by hating on them or being jealous of them and you can't even focus on yourself because you're too worried about the next person worry about yourself and maybe you'll be a-okay but no you don't know how to <laughs> right exactly but um i think that's all of my pet peeves yeah well thank you guys for watching um greatly appreciate it but as i always say peace uh, and hair grease out